Hi, and welcome to People on the Move, a Cargomatic podcast. My name is Michelle Dawn Mooney. I'm your host today, and I'm thrilled to welcome Masa Pan. She is a senior civil engineer for the Port of Los Angeles. She is also WTSLA VP of Professional Development and Student Outreach. Masa, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me, Michelle. I'm excited to be here. Yes, we're excited to have you here. So, Massa, you really, I was joking before we went on that you're you're quite the underachiever. And that's a, a complete compliment because what it's saying, you've done so much in so many roles, not only with what you're doing with your main occupation, but also a lot of volunteer work and you're very involved with WTS, which we'll get into. But let's start off first by what is your role with the Port of Los Angeles? Yeah, sure. I work with the City of Los Angeles Harbor Department, and that oversees the waterfront areas in San Pedro and Wilmington, and that's typically known as the Port of Los Angeles. My job title is Senior Civil Engineer, as you mentioned, and my role is to oversee multiple construction projects such as community beautification, terminal expansions, and various improvements within the harbor area. Some of the projects I've worked on um, and overseen include development of Wilmington Waterfront, where we're building a park and promenade for the community, as well as various rail and terminal expansion projects. Wonderful. And I have to ask this because I'm sure you probably have been asked this before. You're talking about a field that is predominantly dominated by men, uh, about 70%. So what was it that made you want to enter this field in the first place? Yeah, my, I actually grew up in a household that's strong in STEM. My father is an electrical engineer. My mother is an accountant. I became a civil engineer and my sister became a dentist. So you can say it runs in the family. I learned to love math in high school, and I also had an interest in art when I was younger. So engineering seemed like a natural choice when I was choosing my college major, and it blended math, the problem solving, as well as art with some of the design aspects of engineering. So I pursued the opportunity to work in the public sector and become a construction manager at the port because I love a the impacts that our projects make in the community. And going back to your statistic uh, of the three engineers in my family, my father, my uncle, and myself, two are men, and that supports the 70% statistic. But I never felt discouraged to pursue a career in STEM, and actually I was encouraged to do so. And being an engineer is very fulfilling. I'm sure they must be very, very proud as well. So with what you do, obviously, you know, with your main job, but we talk about how you also have involvement in a lot of other aspects. And we talked about WTS, the LA chapter. They're really committed to empowering women in the transportation industry. How do you think the WTS role and other organizations that are really pushing young girls and young women into STEM, how vital are they to the next generation so we can see more of that percentage with women, not necessarily just all men. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, interesting fact is when WTS first started, it was known as Women's Transportation Seminar. And that's from a time when in the 1970s, women were discouraged from joining professional associations unless they're educational. And hence the name seminar um, in the title. And today the organization is known as WTS International. And I feel it's an essential part of the transportation industry. And we have over 8,500 members. And WTS has representation across all sectors of transportation. And the organization not only provides professional development and networking its initial intent, but also a large part of the mission, which I'm involved in as one of the vice presidents is to bring scholarships and outreach to high school and college students. So a lot has improved since the 1970s and it's because of organizations like WTS that provide these professional development and opportunities for women. But of course there's still gender disparity and with WTS and other similar organizations, we can try building, bridging the gap and building a better path and career opportunities for women. 
And you really have such a great understanding being on both sides of WTS as a mentee and then a mentor. So what have you learned maybe from both roles? And you've played multiple roles in WTS, but from those specifically, what would you say have you learned that you now realize that you're carrying through not only maybe mentoring others, but also in your professional, maybe even personal life? Yeah, definitely. I, from both being a mentor and being a mentee, I realize the importance and impact that mentors have on the lives of their mentees. Uh, for, for instance, we hire student engineers at the Port of Los Angeles to intern and assist us on our projects. And I create an environment to encourage them to freely ask questions, uh, independently make decisions, and do work that meaningfully contributes to our projects. And some of the interns uh, have recently graduated and are working professionally elsewhere. And just last week, we had a reunion lunch to catch up with the men, with some of the mentees or interns and uh, learn where they are professionally since their internships. And a lot of the interns are doing well for themselves. I'm so proud of their accomplishments. One is working at an aerospace company, working on a rocket launch. Another is at DWP, another at Cedar sinai and so on. And I'm so proud of them and the impacts that I may have had on some of their successes. And definitely the takeaway from the lunch was that having, they expected to have similar working environments when they moved on in their careers. And let's say some do and some don't. And personally, as a mentee, uh, one of my mentors did encourage me to em embrace my authentic self and contribute my strengths. So in society, I feel like we are in such a competitive environment a lot of the time, and we're often trying to improve ourselves without really recognizing the gifts that we already have and what we can contribute in our workplaces and, and elsewhere. And in contributing my strengths over time as nominated, from our 300 member base to be on the WTS board from one of my past WTS mentors. And last year I became WTS LA member of the year. And I sent my mentor a note to thank her for nominating me to the chapter board and to share that recognition with her. So definitely without her nominating me to the board, I, I wouldn't be here talking with you today. And I realized definitely mentors have a huge impact on the lives of their mentees, whether they realize it or not. I have to just throw in this uh, personal question with what you said, because you said you were so proud to see some of these young ladies and what they're doing. And knowing that you were one of those young ladies, you really, you, you can relate. So can you just briefly give me what that feels like? Because you were that girl and then turn into a young lady. As you said, the statistic is in your own family, but you had that mentorship and what that meant to you and where you are now to look down at, at some of the other women, young ladies that are coming up. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's so, so rewarding, absolutely, to see the people that I've helped come up through um, their careers and, and find their footing professionally and for myself, I definitely have relied on a lot of mentors to bring me up throughout the years. I often seek guidance and advice, not only from people that are at positions higher than me, but also even from my peers that I admire. I feel like, you know, as a mentee or mentor, you shouldn't just rely on those above you, but also those around you and below you. So I think that definitely um, has been an impact for me. That's really great. So it is Women's History Month, and I'm curious, what would you like to see happen in the immediate future or the next few years as we we make great strides? We talked about that earlier with the footing of having more women in fields like transportation and the engineering and STEM fields. But what would you like to see happen for the next generation that they can talk about during Women's History Month? Yeah, that's that's a great question. Uh, honestly, I'd like to see women's accomplishments celebrated throughout the year, not just one day or one month, whether it's through social media, TV shows, history books, uh, whatnot. 
Um, there, women do so much, not only in the workplace, but in the world and even their homes more personally. My mother was definitely a, a strong and positive influence in my life. And I've always admired her and had her as a role model when I was growing up. So, so it's, it's not only important to celebrate women's achievements, but the ideal would be to celebrate women not only one month of the year, but celebrate throughout the year. Women empowering women, I think, is, is such a huge takeaway from our conversation here. I just recently came across a quote by Serena Williams saying, we're stronger when we cheer each other on. And obviously, you are testament to that, what you do with Port. Obviously, you are making great strides and in, in getting more of that percentage towards the women's side. And then with WTS LA, once again, the lives that you've shaped and the people that you've had an impact on. And then, as you said, the people that have impacted you to get where you are today, it's really a beautiful thing to see it come full circle. So with all that you've seen in the professional workplace and also with what you've done with WTS and and how involved you are there, what's the best piece of professional advice that you've received? Yeah, the best piece of advice I received is to write down your goals and place them somewhere visible. And at the beginning of the calendar year, I would usually write down my top three goals for the year and place it somewhere near my workstation. So I had a daily reminder of what I wanted to accomplish for that year. And it kept the goals top of mind and it was really satisfying when I was able to accomplish them and cross them off that list. So the last couple of years, obviously, I haven't been doing this, but it's definitely something I want to bring back because it's been so effective in achieving my goals. Well, you have quite a few goals that you have been checking off over the years. So I think if you want to take a little break from that, I completely understand. And that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much, Masa Pan, who is a senior civil engineer for Port of Los Angeles and also the VP at WTSLA for professional development and student outreach. It was a pleasure to have you here today. It's nice speaking with you, Michelle. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you for joining us. This has been People on the Move, a Cargomatic podcast, and we will see you next time.